Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable live search result in Elementor. Let me show you an example of the live search result. Here, I'm on the demo WooCommerce website, which is using Elementor, and I have a search bar here on the home page. You can add this search bar anywhere on your website. You can add it in the header section or in the footer section or on the shop page. Now, let's try to search and you will see the live search result. Let's search for shirt and you will see the live result here. So it is showing the products which are related to the shirt. So it is not going to redirect the user to a specific search page to show the search result. Instead of that, you can show the live search result on the same page. So if I want to go to that product, I can simply click on it and go to that product page. Let's go back. Let's try to search another product. You can also create pagination. For this search term, we have more than four products then it will show the pagination on the live search result. This feature is available in the Elementor 3.25 and above. And to show the search results, we will also need to create a template for the live search. So I'll show you how you can create a template and how you can use the live search result in Elementor. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website designed using Shoptimizer theme and Elementor. If you want to know how to create e-commerce website using Elementor and Shoptimizer theme, I have a separate video on it. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch that video. Here I'm going to add a search widget. So we are on the home page of this website. Let's click on the plus sign. Now remember you can add this search widget anywhere on your website you can add it on the product page or you can add it in the header section like this in this case i'm going to add this search widget on the home page so i have added a new section here click on the plus sign and search for search so this is the search element click on it and drag it and drop it here and this is the default layout of the search bar let's publish it and let's say how does this look let's go to the home page refresh it and you will see the search bar here okay now let's go to the settings of this search bar here you will see the placeholder type to start searching this is the placeholder here if you want you can also add icon autocomplete if you want to enable autocomplete you can also enable autocomplete otherwise you can keep it disabled then we have icon for the clear and submit button is nothing but search button you will see it here now let's go to result section here and you will see a new option added here live results you need to enable this option and after that we need to create a template for the live result if you already have any template then you can use that one or you can create a new template so i'm going to click on create a template would you like to save the changes let's click on save and now we are going to create a template for the search result this is nothing but the loop item Okay, let's go to the settings here and change the name to search live results. This is the template name. And for the preview settings, I'm going to use products, apply and preview. So it will show the products as a preview. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and add a section or the structure for the layout. Click on the plus sign. I want to show the featured image of the product or the blog post it will also show the blog post or the product as of now i have selected product to preview okay so at the top it will show the product featured image click on the plus sign and search for the product title or the post title let's make it h3 central align it change the color let's use this one whatever color you want you can add the color there I just want to show you how you can create the template let's capitalize it okay so this is the post title and after that we are going to add a button which will go to the post page or the product page so click on the plus sign search for button drag it and drop it here and let's change the text on it read more 
and for the link we are going to use post url so it will go to the post or the product url let's change the style settings change the background color all right for this layout i'm going to add border shadow the box shadow so this is how it will look now if you want you can also add post excerpt or post content but that will not look good inside the search results so i'm going to keep it as it is i want to show the image then title and the read more button let's click on publish so this is the template that we have created let's go to the home page again and here search for the template that we have created search so this is the template that we created search live results select that one and it will be used to show the search live result how many columns do you want let's make it four columns and four items all right if you have more than four then it will create pagination there i'll show you this is minimum search characters it will be three so the user will need to type in at least three characters to search the item on the website equal height let's turn on the equal height loader you can also add loader nothing found message show the message it seems we can't find what you're looking for then let's go to query for the query we are going to select all products post pages of floating elements so it is going to show the results for all these items you can also include by term or author you can also add exclude rule then we have the date and descending order let's go to additional setting now for the pagination you can enable pagination numbers previous next or numbers and previous and next so let's select this one previous next plus numbers page limit will be five shorten you can enable or disable it i'm going to keep it as it is click on publish let's go to the home page and let's refresh it okay we have got this search bar here so here in the search bar type top and you will see that live search result is there we do not have any featured image for the about so it's not going to show the featured image here let's search for shirt and you will see the result for the shirt okay now here it shows the pages without the images so we will select only the products let's go to the home page go to query settings and select products so it is going to show the results for the products only click on publish refresh it and let's search for shirt and you will see the results only for the products so if i click on it it will go to that product page okay so this is nothing but the live search result let's search for earrings or ear for this search term we have more than four results so you will see the pagination here we are on the first pagination let's go to next you will see the next results then next you will see next results so this is nothing but the pagination for the live results search for dress you will see one dress is there let's search for pant now here you will see the message it seems we cannot find what you're looking for so you will see that message here so if you want to change that message you can change it from here so this is the new feature added in Elementor. To enable the live search results, you will need Elementor 3.25 and above. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.